Hello, it's another sunny day here in Lymington and here we have Intrepid Bear. She's a Naya 391 from 1997. She's been kept for most of her life along the south coast of the UK and she's actually well known to us having sold her twice before. As we jump on board you can see she's got a nice little locker there which is great for stowing lines. You can see she's got teak decks throughout these are in need of a bit of work, the corking is raised in places, but the current owners have carried out some remedial work on the decks. Either side of the mast there you've got granny bars, as all reefing and halyards are done at the mast, nothing is led back to the cockpit on her. Up forward here she's got a Lofren's electric windlass, with a 20 kilo Bruce anchor. She's also got a removable inner force day, which is a fantastic addition on her. Looking back aft, you can see she's got this nice grey canvas work. This was all replaced by the current owners in 2013 and from good old Sanders over the road. Her sails, these are from 2009, the Genoa and mainsail, they were by Hood. She's got a working jib and a storm jib from 1997, but with obviously little use. And she has a cruising chute, which was by Crusader in 2002. You see the main sheet track running across the back of the cockpit there, and as we pop into the cockpit, She's obviously got the trademark Nyad windscreen. It's lovely having this cockpit tent. So to starboard we've got a deep, deep locker here which is a great storage. You can see it's got quite a few bits in it. And then we've got the engine control panel and the autopilot control there. And then above the companionway, we've got a Raymarine C120 plotter, and then we've got three auto helm displays for wind, depth, and log. And down below, again, she's got this nice grey Alcantara upholstery, which was replaced in 2013 as well. This is the chart table you can see that's offset to starboard with a folding pull-out seat. Moving forward, so up into the forepeak, again the, you can see the Alcantara in light grey. There's an infill cushion that goes into the forepeak there to make it a nice double. And here we have a very clever addition which is a separate shower. So if cruising as a couple it's great because you've got a separate heads and then a, a nice walk-in shower. So no need to use marina facilities. Back round into the saloon, you can see she's got this blue carpet throughout, so the sole has been nicely protected. Drop leaf table there to one side. And into the heads, which has also got a pull out tap for the shower, so it can be used as a shower if you've got guests on board. Manual Jabsco toilet there. She does have a holding tank as well. And the galley, it's a linear galley there. Got double stainless steel sinks. There's a nice dry store just behind the sinks there, which is nice and deep and spacious. The hob is a Plastimo double burner there with oven and grill. I struggled to get this down with one hand, there we go. Got the fridge just over there to the right. And into the engine room. You can see the Victron battery charger at the back there and she's got a nice 60 horsepower Yanmar 4GH 2T. And the aft cabin, you can see the door to the aft cabin on the right there, which pulls out, goes across the door, and behind there is a nice hanging locker. 
She's got custom mattress in the aft cabin, so nice and comfy, no foam to sleep on. You've got a little table that folds out to be used as a, a desk or dressing table and, and seating both sides for getting dressed when at sea. And back into the saloon, you can see her nice African mahogany woodwork, which is in fantastic condition. <laughs>